Hi, I'm Mark Baber. I'm the Technical Marketing Manager here in the UK and Ireland for Sony's Photo Channel. Now, Sony have just announced a brand new lens to their edition of 64 native lenses to 65. And it's the brand new 70 to 200 F2.8 G Master OSS Mark II. It's so light. We're going to test the lens on a variety of bodies. So we're going to test it on the A1, the A9 Mark II and the A7 Mark III. And what better place to test this lens is in a wildlife environment. And we're here at Pro Hides in Wiltshire. Let's go and have a look at how this lens can perform. It's so light. Okay. Here we go. So this isn't just any upgrade from a Mark I to Mark II lens. This Mark II lens has significantly evolved in terms of autofocus performance, and it really does deliver the best from Sony's in-house stills and movie capabilities. So who is this lens for? Well, personally, I think it's ideal for wildlife, sports, motorsport, for example, portrait, landscape, and wedding photography as well, both stills and video. So we're inside the hide. I've got the 70 to 200 G Master F2.8 OSS Mark II. One of the first things I notice about this lens, how good it is, is how light it is. It's about 30% lighter than the Mark I version, but that difference in weight really makes a difference when you're hand holding it in a hide like this. So I need to be really quiet. We've seen nuthatches, uh, chaffinch, blue tits as well. The autofocus on the new Mark II lens is so, so good. It's not just fast and silent, but also it's just so sticky. The AF just sticks to the bird. Um, I've just done some blue tip shots and they are just, it's just incredible. Again, that lightness is really makes a difference because it's almost like I'm, I'm, I don't realize I'm actually holding a 70 to 200 mil lens. I've also used the crop factor on here. And I've managed to increase the focal length of up to another 100 millimeters, which makes this lens 300 millimeters using the 1.5 conversion to full frame. It's really fast. And the XD linear motors are also spot on in terms of silent shooting and also autofocus tracking. And I'll say it again, it's really, really light when you compare it to the Mark I versus the Mark II. So in this demo, we're setting up the A1 to bird IAF, and it's really, really easy to set in the menu. And then instantly I depress the shutter and immediately it finds the bird's eye. Now, even when the blue tit's moving around, it tracks the eye really, really well. And here's one of the images I took, zooming in, showing incredible bokeh and high resolution sharpness. So that was footage shot on the A1 and the new 70 to 200 Mark II. So what we're gonna do now is have a look at some footage with the A9 Mark II and the A7 III. But I've got the Mark I version here of the lens, so we can just have a quick look at the size. Uh, the size is pretty much the same, but the weight, again, I'll emphasize that, is massively different. And you have to put it in your hands to try it because uh, you're looking at nearly 400 grams lighter, which makes a massive difference as well when you're obviously handhold shooting. So the lens is constructed of 14 groups with 17 elements and the constant f2.8 zoom uses two super ED glass and two ED glass. Now that is used to suppress chromatic aberration. And for those movie makers, filmmakers, the latest lens design reduces focus breathing, it reduces focus shift while zooming and also reduces the axis shift while zooming. The new lens has a full-time direct manual focus button, a linear response manual focus for um, more accurate focusing, a focus range limiter, an iris lock switch, optical zoom torque, and a new optical image stabilization mode three, which gives you more opportunity to control those subjects that are fast moving or unpredictable. Now to achieve this incredible autofocus speed, on the Mark II it uses four XD linear motors, which compared to the Mark I lens is around four times faster. The autofocus tracking is also improved by 30%. Okay, so we're gonna take the 7200 Mark II now and put it on the A9 Mark II. And as I'm doing this, we're gonna take a walk around this 1500 acre uh, organic farm uh, for some more opportunities to test the lens. So combination of the A9 Mark II now with the brand new 7200 F2.8 G Master Mark II. 
So I've just left the woodland and I've stopped the car because I'm looking for some wildlife opportunities again with the A9 Mark II and the new 7200 G Master Mark II. And I've stopped because as you can see behind me, there's a fantastic landscape opportunity here with some sunflowers. So let's have a look what the 7200 can do with the A9 Mark II as well from a landscape perspective. Now here I am taking some shots of the sunflowers. I'm about two meters away. Now zooming into one of the images I've taken, you can see how sharp and how clear the images are, plus that creamy background bokeh as well. So as I've turned, there's a bee on one of the sunflowers and I'm gonna try and zoom in here. So the macro capabilities are fantastic. And uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. If I just zoom out, and then zoom in. The bokeh on this lens is so, so creative. It uses an 11 blade aperture that uses Sony technology to suppress the onion ring effect and has a minimum focusing distance of 0.4 at 70 millimeters and 0.82 at 200 millimeters. Add nano AR coating to this, it reduces flare and ghosting, which improves overall picture quality. Now straight after the sunflower shoot, I headed straight to the farm where the pigs were and tested the A7 III with the new 70-200 Mark II lens. I'm changing the A9 Mark II to an A7 Mark III to see again how light this combination is. And as you can see, I've got quite a lot of kit in this case, so the new 70-200 F2.8 Mark II fits in perfectly with its lightweight design. It's not adding much weight to this kit at all. So the 70-200 Mark II focused on the adult pig with ease. I used the expandable flexible spot on the AF to uh, lock onto the pig and zooming in here it shows real detail in the pig skin. Now, after taking shots of the adult pig the piglets then arrived and I changed the human IAF in the A7 Mark III to animal IAF. Now the piglets were a little bit sleepy but the moment they opened their eyes the AF point captured them really really quickly. And then zooming in here, again on post-editing software, we're going to zoom into 200%. And you can see the sharpness is excellent from the new Mark II 70 to 200 f2.8 lens. At this time, the piglets came towards me, and as you can see, the light here was so good. The AF tracking and the animal IAF on the A7 Mark III worked so well. There's definitely a difference in how the AF performs on this new lens on my older A7 Mark III compared to the Mark I. And it's really enjoyable because the accuracy on the Mark I is excellent, but the Mark II just takes it to another level. Moving on, I was really keen to get stills of birds in flight, and just by accident, I disturbed some birds and they flew right up into the sky, and I tried to get as many shots as I could to capture as much of those birds in focus as I could. And here, using post-editing software, just to zoom in to the images, to see the sharpness whilst these birds are in flight. And from the footage you could see they were flying all over the place. I think you'll agree with me here by watching this content that the level of sharpness and the ability to be able to focus on fast moving subjects in stabilization mode three really is a testament to how good this lens can perform when it's got so much going on. It can focus on your subject matter really, really well and rest assured that a lot of this image is in focus, not just the center. And as if I had planned this, on cue was a gull that just calmly flew by. Now, the AF tracking on the A7 Mark III with the new 7200 just stuck to the bird. It was so reliable and sticky. And here in post, you can see the detail, the resolution, the sharpness at 100% on the screen. I'm really pleased with these results with the combination of the A7 Mark III and the new 7200 f2.8 Mark II. And finally, here's my son. Now we're not on the farm, but we're showing you how accurate and how fast the human IAF is with this lens and combination with the A1. Now, as we zoom into camera, this is a recording with a video card to give you an idea of what it looks like in the back of the camera. We zoom in and on all Sony cameras, when you zoom in, it'll always go to the sharpest point. And in this instance, it's the eye. The picture in picture shows this, goes straight to the eye. And we're looking at superb sharpness and resolution from this lens. So the biggest difference for me between the Mark I and Mark II is the weight. I've paired this just now with the A7 Mark III and I have to say an absolute pleasure to use. It doesn't weigh anything. Uh, might need a little uh, 
a grip underneath or, or battery grip to make it a little bit more comfortable on the hand. But you know what? What an amazing combination, a lightweight body and a lightweight 70 to 200 mil lens with incredible pitch quality. Uh, resolution, fantastic. When I've zoomed in, the detail is superb. The speed, so much faster. I think it's about four or five times faster than the Mark I. And the, the AF, the artificial intelligence that we have built into the camera, the algorithms, the ability to pick up human eye AF, animal eye AF, and with the A1 bird eye AF, as you saw in the footage. So highly recommend this for wildlife, sports, uh, portraiture, landscape, macro, you know, it pretty much covers all bases, whether you're a wildlife photographer, sports photographer, or even a wedding photographer. So that's the G Master 70-200 full frame lens Mark II from Sony.